I am the Edison phonograph. The more you become acquainted with me, the better you will like me. Ask the dealer. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Recordology. Okay, do you guys remember this thing? This is the venerable Victrola 6-in-1 turntable. We reviewed this last year. This turntable is far and above and definitely the most popular video that we have ever done on this channel. I think we're near 50,000 views and climbing uh, by the day. Uh, this is a great turntable. Uh, we're reviewing something else, but I wanted to talk to you about this real quick. This thing, I've been using it quite a bit over the last year and a half or whatever it's been, about a year, and it's performed perfectly. The records that it's had are in great condition still. CD player works perfectly, tape player. Everything is in perfect condition still. It's been very durable, been a great turntable. Uh, keep this guy in the bedroom. This is uh, sort of the bedroom sound system. And uh, yeah, it's great, love it, absolutely recommend it. However, Victrola has come out with something brand new for this holiday season. Um, something really exciting and I think we are the first channel on YouTube to review it. This is the all new Victrola 6-in-1 turntable. So from a functionality standpoint, similar to the last turntable. However, this is totally redesigned and features um, some amazing, amazing things that I know you're going to enjoy, including um, all of that functionality with a complete redesign and a very cool presentation. So. Have us, let's take a look here. And let's take a gander at what we have. So, and hopefully this video will be as popular as the other one. If you are looking at this for a Christmas present, or you just got one for Christmas or, or whatnot, because I know that's a popular time for these videos, let's see what you're in for, see what you got, and uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be awesome. So far, everything about it looks awesome. So, we got the unit packed in here. Um, We've got our us usual, you know, instruction manual with uh, some cords, cabling. We'll see what that's all about. And uh, kind of go from there. The turntable itself is packed in very tightly, so I'll do what I usually do and flip this. Let's see how I'm going to flip it over. Let me try to scoot it out. They pack them in pretty tight, so be careful when you're doing this that you don't let the thing fall out and break and ruin your investment. That would be sad. But man, it just looks so cool. Already it just looks so cool. Totally redesigned. This is a mid-century uh, design. And you'll see that from time to time out there. What that means is 50s era. So it's designed to look like a 50s and 60s. All right, so we've got it out of the box. And look at that beautiful thing. That awesome front end just looks so so cool all right so let's take a look and see what she looks like out of the packaging be very careful when you take these you know packing materials out of it. i've been very impressed with everything we reviewed from victrola in terms of the packaging they do a really good job of making sure that the product comes to you in one piece that it's as good looking in reality as it looks on the box Etc. Etc. And this is no exception. Ah, wow, look at that shine. Look at that finish. Ooh, and it smells like a new car, you guys. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh, that is awesome. You can smell the veneer. You can smell the the paint, the lacquer. Oh, it's just wonderful. Such an awesome looking unit. Um, let's go ahead and have a closer look in just a minute. But there you go. It is unboxed. Now let's go ahead and review this bad boy and see what we got. Okay, you guys, let's take a closer look at this bad boy. So, on the side here, we've got some tape holding this down right here. Oops, we need to open that first. All right, so we're going to open that. Oh, look at that. Look at the finish and that angle. Let me tilt it up so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at this. This angle of the wood here. How awesome is that? And the Victrola name there, prominently featured. Our typical packing materials. Um... If you haven't set one of these up before, read this. It is important to read. I'm going to bypass that. Um, but got these little protective uh, tape tabs in here. So taking, you know, a lot of stuff again to ensure that this thing arrives to you in good condition. Now, these are foam, but don't be afraid that we're throwing those away because the lid 
has a little built-in foam pad there to protect it. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's get this uh, tone arm out of its cradle packing material. So there's a twisty tie in there, and there is a styrofoam. Again, be very careful to pull it out of the rest, and then lift that out, and then make that sure it's locked in there, and then pulling out the little stylus protector as well. Again, pretty typical stuff. Now, this screw back here, um, there's instructions on how to close the lid, how to unpack the tone arm. This transport screw right here is another common thing. You're going to want to screw that in. Um, it's unscrewed for uh, uh, while it's in transport, but when you get it, you want to screw that bad boy back down there. Just loosely is fine. You don't really need to make it that tight. You can just thumb screw. Some of them are loose enough you can thumb screw, and that one's one of them. Our 45 spacer is back here and tight on that spindle because it's new, never been used. Typical there. Uh, the platter is a standard issue. Uh, Victrola high grade platter. Um, got rubber marks right here and uh, to you know support the turntable itself um, when it's spinning and all that good stuff. Now taking a look at the front, I'm going to go ahead pulling that up and Resting that again, just looks so cool. I'm gonna lift this up. Let's take a little tour of the front panel here. Over here, we've got our on and off. It's a paddle switch, which I think is really cool. I love paddle switches. Our function selector, Bluetooth, aux, phono tape, our volume knob. It's got some drag on there, so it feels heavy. It's high quality, you can just tell. Our awesome tuning dial. Oh, you gotta love that. Look at that, that's so cool. Transport controls. Uh, for the CD player, and there's a CD player right there. Some glue there from the factory still in there. And then on the side, we've got our tape player. I love those tape players. Some of the units that companies are coming out with nowadays don't have the tape player, and I think that's a mistake because I think that that is something that people still want. I mean, I still have tapes. I want to be able to play them, right? I know you do too. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, plug it in and give it a test and uh, go from there, guys. So what do we always say about the back panel? A good sign of a good unit is that the back panel is finished as well, and this one is. Now, a note on the overall finish. Um, it feels good. I feel like this is a higher quality uh, cabinet um, than a lot of units have out there. I feel like uh, this is definitely an upgrade, um, and it's a good thing to see. Okay, we have a line output here. So the cables that came with this bad boy um, allow you to connect this to external uh, sound systems and speakers and whatnot. But for us, we're going to use the onboard speakers and test them out, see how they sound. Um, let's go ahead and take this off. I always put a piece of tape there, so sometimes that's tricky to get off. And get that off later. A little protector for the plug and twist tie for the power cable. So let me go ahead and plug this in and we'll give it a listen, guys. So. Um, we don't need the external audio cables or the manual right now. What we need is some media. So, based on the fact that this is a mid-century turntable uh, and stereo, we're listening to some mid-century music to begin with. Let's test out the record player. I'm going to be playing some Bill Haley and his comments. Um, just found this record the other day, by the way. Um, I love, love, love um, these MCA labels um, with the rainbow in them. And uh, we're going to be listening to, of course, what else but Rock Around the Clock. So we're going to put our 45 spacer on. But that spindle is tight. Okay. I'm going to put that on there. Gently rest it here. And again, those rubber grips grab it perfectly. I didn't clean the record. Um, I'm going to switch the speed to 45. The speed selector switch is right there. Taking the lock off and gently putting the needle onto the record. Uh, I'm going to switch down here, I'm going to switch the uh, uh, function to phono. Start our volume off kind of low. And flip our awesome paddle switch to on. Oh, look at the lights on that thing. Oh, you guys can't even tell, but it's awesome. Oh, oh. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. What is that right so Awesome. Okay, guys, that thing has some kick to it. Again, it's, I know it's hard to tell over a video on, on YouTube, but um, based over the previous model, the one that we showed at the beginning, definitely an improvement in sound quality on the low end of the sound spectrum. There's more punch to it. Um, it's still nice and bright. And 
that's off a dirty old record. Oh man, that's awesome. And this sound bar down here, I'm assuming there's two speakers. I'm not sure, I need to uh, investigate that a little bit further. It's another piece of glue. Uh, but yeah, that sounds great. You know what, I didn't even use a cueing lever. It's got a cueing lever, guys. I didn't even use it, so my bad there. Yeah, I shouldn't be lowering the needle on my own. I should be using a cueing lever. All right, so the record player sounds good. Uh, sounds great. Let's go ahead and try another record on there. Um, this time we're going to listen to an LP, Chet Atkins, so some guitar playing. And this time we're going to go ahead and listen to a little Snowbird on there. So obviously we're going to be at 33 RPM. I'm going to change the speed selection up there. This time I'm going to do it right and uh, actually use a cueing lever. I'm going to rotate the uh, stylus over and drop that down. And let's give a listen to this. Obviously a much more, oops. Okay guys, notice what's happening? I did something that I always do and it's nothing wrong with the record player. It's a complete user error. I left the spacer on there and I do this a lot. So not the hugely damaging thing to do, but if you're wondering, I sat in front of a record player the other day for about 10 minutes before I figured out what the heck was going on. Let's try that again. Make sure you take your 45 spacer off. And let's try that again. Jeez. Should sound a lot better. Wow. Very spacious. I mean, this is a big room we're in right now. I wish I could play more, but copyright. I gotta keep these audio clips under 15 seconds. You know, it's, um, from what I can tell, just in the very small chance, the small opportunity so far to listen, the sound quality is um, phenomenal. It's got a great full volume, a great sound stage. I'm standing, you know, facing it straight on so I can get that stereo imaging. Um, just sounds great. I mean, this is a, I can't wait to, you know, stretch the legs on this a little bit further and see what it can do in terms of, um, you know, longer tests here, but I also am not trying to burden you with a 45 minute video. We've done some long ones in the past. And by the way, statistically, I know that folks like to watch for about four and a half minutes. So uh, we're gonna go a little bit over that, but I wanted to get fairly close to that. So by all initial uh, tests, the turntable sounds great. Um, you know, it's the same good quality uh, Victrola uh, turntable mechanism we've seen in the past. Some minor improvements I can see here and there in terms of uh, some elements that make up um, the tone arm assembly and whatnot. Just super, super good sounding. All right, I wanted to point this out to you as well, guys. So when you adjust the function at the bottom of the dial here, it actually changes the screen to show you what function you're using. CD, Bluetooth, phono, tape, and whatnot. That is so cool. What an awesome thing. And it's not just some cheapo, you know, LCD screen here. It's a black background with a white uh, letters, which is a higher end uh, technology, just so that aesthetically it, it blends into the analog dial there, uh, what you would call a radio dial. Um, all right, let's check out the tape player. I've set it to a tape function. You guys know me. I'm not going to have any tests without some Glenn Miller. So load that tape in there. That's an auto stop tape player, non Dolby, but like we said before, Dolby doesn't license uh, their material, their technology to anybody anymore. Uh, but yeah. Of course we catch it right in the middle of songs there, but so far it sounds good. Um, these are side-loading uh, tape players that auto-start and auto-stop. Um, if you push this button in here halfway, it'll actually fast-forward. And um, then you can continue to play it. And if you want to rewind the tape, you have to flip it over to the other side. Sounds good. Yeah, I think the tape player sounds good on this for sure. So now let's go ahead and listen to the CD player and let's listen to some pristine compact disc audio and see what it sounds like. All right, you guys know that I'm a nostalgic. That's part of the reason why I love these nostalgic units 
is that I love history. I love nostalgic music. You saw the video we did on the World War II Festival. I mean, that is my people. That is my heart is uh, uh, history and nostalgia. So, you know, no big surprise. We're going to review some uh, nostalgic equipment with more nostalgic music. Got some big band. But this is BBC Big Band Recording. Uh, fully digital, top of the line, uh, audio quality recording. We're going to split our, or we're going to rotate our selector switch back to CD and try out the CD player. So good sturdy CD drawer. Uh, again, that sounds like, oh, of course, it's a basic CD drawer, but no, this is a higher end one. I can tell by looking at it. a lot of the all-in-one units now are using these super, super paper thin drawers um, for aesthetic reasons, but this is a... Um, traditional thicker one and that's just you know going to lead to durability and all good things so we're going to put that in there now all these transport controls are active uh, except for the pairing button here for bluetooth everything else is related to the cd player they don't control the tape player it's just for the cd player the tape player is fully automatic all right let's go ahead and listen to this cd and down here on the screen i shouldn't be doing this while cd's rotating but it'll give you the typical you know time count and all that good stuff so the CD's coming up to speed, and we're going to go ahead and listen to it. You have to hit play again. There we go. All right, this will give us a perfect... This will give us a really good uh, test of the audio quality of this unit. Wow. Good bass. Sounds fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, guys. I wish I could play more. Wish I could play more. Uh, again, that copyright. Man, that sounds good. That sounds really, really good. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. By the way, I get a lot of requests for what song I'm playing at certain points in the video. So if you want to know, um, and I haven't said so out loud in the video, uh, just shoot me an email or shoot me a, a comment in the comment section. Also, we got an aux input. Uh, we won't test that today, but you can hook up your non-Bluetooth device there. Headphones, I love having this stuff on the front panel versus the back. Uh, that's definitely the way to do it. Next thing and last thing I want to test on this with you guys. Well, we should test the radio. Let's test the radio. Take this over to FM and give this a Oh, look at the needle on that, how it lights up. That is so cool. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys. First, let's find a station, then I'm gonna show you up close. Let's find some music. Or an ad, whatever. But check this out, guys. Sarah, Look Sarah, how cool that up. looks. Coit's having a sale 40% off. Look how the dial lights up. 40% off. Look how that needle lights up. I'll go next door. You go so the other cool. direction. Okay. Putting this back up here in the tripod here. My apologies for the shakiness there. Okay, so yeah, we've got a lot of uh, commercials on right now, but by all intents and purposes, it would seem that the uh, uh, radio is a good quality radio, so that's good. Uh, last thing I want to check is uh, hook up the iPhone to the Bluetooth, and let's listen to some Bluetooth. So, um, not sure, okay, so I'm going to assume, again, read the instructions, folks, um, but, you know, for the course of a video, it's, uh, I don't want to make you guys sit there and watch me read instructions, so... Flipping that to Bluetooth, we're going to figure this out. I'm sure it's very intuitive. Um, there's a pairing button, so I'm opening up Bluetooth on my phone. And let's see what we get. I'm going to hit pair. Down at the bottom, Bluetooth is flashing. And let's see if it pops up. Dun, 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 dun. Kiyama. It's in pairing mode, and I am looking for devices on my phone. Okay, it popped up. VTA 270B. And I am connecting. Let's see if it gives us a beep or something. It says it's connected on my end. And okay, so no beep. And we should be connected now. So let's go ahead and play something from the phone and give it a listen. How about a little Artie Shaw? A little Rose Room by Artie Shaw. Nice. 
sounds clean, sounds pristine. That's um, really good audio, guys. I mean, I'm telling you, this thing sounds great. It really, really does. It looks beautiful. I love the finish. This is completely rethought, uh, top to bottom. Um, everything is new. Everything is fresh. Um, I would say the best aspects of the previous six-in-one one unit have been retained, and the uh, and uh, the whole unit has been enhanced. Um, I love the finish. I love the design. You know, initially I thought I would prefer, you know, the older style, um, kind of 30s and 40s era uh, retro units, but we reviewed a couple now of the mid-century ones, and I really like them, guys. I think that they're they keep that nostalgic feel. Um, they've got added, I think they've got added class. I love this black and gold look. That just looks so sharp to me. This thing would look great in a living room, apartment, uh, family room, anywhere. Um, yeah, I think it's beautiful. I think it's a, an absolutely uh, quality built unit. Um, I can tell you based on the quality of my other one that it will last. Um, this thing will last you. And um, the physical controls are high quality, so... Uh, the sound is fantastic. It's phenomenal. Um, everything about it is very well thought out. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel, um, you know, like it's anything other than high quality, which it is. So if you guys have one of these on order, you know, get excited because you've got something really special coming your way. Um, if you're contemplating, um, take it from me. I've seen everything out there, pretty much everything or close to it. Uh, either tested it, seen it, read about it, or whatnot. And I can tell you that this rate's very high on that list. Um, right up there at the very top, this is a, an excellent unit. One of the very best I've ever seen of these all-in-one units. This might be the best all-in-one unit I've ever seen uh, to this point. So, um, highly recommend it, guys. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I tried to keep it fairly short. I think we... Uh, didn't quite hit the 30 minute mark, thank God. Uh, but thank you for watching. I'm super, super um, excited to have you along for the journey. I'm very appreciative of you joining and watching and spending your time uh, in watching this video. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, I would definitely appreciate that. 97% of you guys are, um, are not subscribed. So I wanna get that changed so you get a notification email every now and then saying you know, that we posted something. Um, you know, we're reaching all around the world right now, um, which I'm very excited about. We have uh, viewers uh, around the clock. Um, you know, the growth has been phenomenal. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely hard to get a YouTube channel started and an audience built, but I feel like we've done it very organically. Um, you know, we have about 120 people visit the channel um, an hour, which is pretty cool. You know, we're in tens of thousands of views per month in, in view minutes um, and uh, thousands of views per month. Um, so definitely want to, uh, um, to get you guys uh, to spread the word if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much for being there. It, uh, don't make you know, a dime off this channel right now. It's just, uh, just something for the fun of it. I, uh, I am passionate about these things and I just literally want to show and tell with you and share my passions with you. Um, and, and teach you and show you that it's not expensive or difficult to enjoy records and record hunting. It's something you can do wherever you are right now. So unless you live on a farm, but hey, maybe you have some records that are hidden there in a in a box somewhere. I don't even know, but you know these things can be had, you know, affordably, and um, they're out there. They're historic treasures waiting to fa to find these records. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, share the word if you haven't done so already. Hit subscribe, like I said. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you next time. Happy record time.